Topic 12.2 Summary Nuclear Physics Part 1 Distance of Closest Approach We know that the nucleus of an atom is tiny, but just how can we measure the size of a nucleus? We know from Rutherford's gold foil experiment that when alpha particles are fired at gold foil, a small percentage of them will bounce back. It is possible to use conservation of energy to infer the size of the nucleus. When an alpha particle of known kinetic energy comes close to nucleus, it will slow down, stop, and reverse direction. At the instant that its velocity is zero, all of the alpha particle's original kinetic energy is now temporarily in the form of electric potential energy. So once again, if we know the kinetic energy of the alpha particle, by the time it comes to a stop, all of that kinetic energy has been converted to electrical potential energy. By rearranging the electrical potential energy equation, we can solve for the distance. This is called the distance of closest approach. By increasing the kinetic energy of the particle, the distance will approach a limit. That smallest value of d gives a good estimation of the size of the nucleus. The size of the nucleus depends upon the atomic mass number, a, and it's approximately equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative 15th meters multiplied by the atomic number raised to the one-third power. And that's all. Except I do have a wacky word definition for you guys. Today's word is eclipse. Eclipse. What a British barber does. That was for you, Christian. <laughs>